Hey YouTubers, um, I wanted to make a video on my JRC H8C quad and I wanted to tell you what I did to make mine fly a lot better because out of the box I think this quad is uh, pretty generic. I would say it don't, it didn't have good range at all the signal was cutting out left and right and my first flight with it I ended up uh, crashing and <laughs> had real limited control so I wanted to uh, make a video to let you know what I did to make it fly a lot better first things first is I, I put the uh, training wheels on the front and this gives you excellent orientation when you're sky high um, without these on there you'll you'll lose orientation of where your quad is uh, left or right or you don't you're not sure which way it's facing and that can lead to a big problem so I put these things back on and that took care of the problem. When this thing is as high as it'll go, you can still you can still see these and your orientation is you're never in doubt. You always know what way it's facing. So I got mine facing the front and it made a world of difference. Um Another thing I did to uh, take care of the jello on the video is I put a velcro on the camera and also on the bottom of this so that you know the camera just fits like that and what that velcro does is acts as a dampener for the vibration that's what causes all that jello anyway is a vibration so it the key is to try to eliminate all the vibration and you'll have a much better video which I'll show you later on in this video. Um, another thing I did to eliminate the jello was I balanced uh, the propellers and I'll show you how I did that. Now they have they have uh, propeller balancing kits that you can buy but think they're pretty expensive so this here is the poor man's way of doing it just put the uh, propeller on the screwdriver that comes with the quad and you want to see if it turns in any one way which it does you can see this propeller is not balanced so what I did is I took my Dremel tool using the a stone you don't want to use you don't want to use sandpaper wheel because that will cut into the that'll cut into the plastic way too much and way too fast and you'll probably ruin the propeller real fast so just use the stone and you know lightly sand it and keep checking it because it'll balance pretty quick okay so anyway, once it's sanded enough, this will stay just like that. Then you know you're balanced. And that made a world of difference with the uh, flying uh, quality of this quad. Uh, I mentioned earlier that the range on this thing is just pathetic. So I went on YouTube and looking at and looked at uh, how to do an antenna extension and I did it the first time was a failure because I made the antenna way too long and that made the, the signal strength terrible so I went back to the drawing board asked a couple questions on YouTube and and uh, so you only need a little extension the same length as uh, this clear coat antenna part right there which is no more than 
an inch but and then another thing I did is obviously you can see is I put it outside the controller now just just my opinion or a theory but I thought when the antenna is inside the controller that the case on the controller acts as a, a block to the signal um, to a certain degree um, I could be wrong correct me if I'm wrong I'm not an expert on this stuff but anyway this is what I did I drilled a little hole and stuck it through like that <clears throat> and I went out and tested it the other day and that made a world of difference this thing went sky high um, just about out of my eyesight and uh, before it finally cut out and you'll see that in the video um, it definitely I'd say it doubled the the range on it I was probably I'd say 300 feet high maybe and uh, it finally cut out on me but you don't want it to go any higher because if it does go any higher it's you're gonna lose sight of it and once that happens you might never see it again so um, I was gonna lengthen the antenna in the quad too but after doing the antenna and getting the range that I like it's it's good enough so I'm gonna leave it alone and have fun with it <laughs> uh, so these are the these are the things that I did to mine to make it just fly way better more smoother uh, you know the orientation is very important especially in uh, breezy conditions if there's a little wind way up there and you know when this thing loses signal it wobbles like that and it can fall a good 10 feet before it regains control without these training wheels on there you don't know if it ended up this way or that way and if it's going away from you and you give it the wrong signal now it's really going away from you and you can lose you can lose your quad real quick so anyway I'll, I'll put on the video now so you can see the performance of it and uh, like I said if you see me do something wrong or whatever let me know I'm not an expert at this stuff I'm just trying to have fun with it and you know do what I do what I can to uh, get the most out of this quad alright so here's the video of it flying